Um, yes, my name is Briseida Tijerina. I am Keep El Mundo Dual Language Academy teacher, second grade for Spanish. Uh, what brought me here is the purpose and the vision of KIPP, which is that every single student can and will learn. Um, that is my main goal and idea as well. Well, my experience here um, has been amazing. I feel that KIPP gives you the opportunity to grow as a professional. Regardless of your vision of, well, maybe I just want to be a teacher, maybe I want to be a principal, maybe I um, want to go and observe classrooms. So they give you a lot of room for growth and they prepare you, they train you, and they listen to what you, what you want as, as an educator. Because everyone can choose a different path and they help you to actually achieve those goals. Um, I have, for example, my if you want to be a great level uh, chair, they will prepare you for that. Um, if you want to you know, open your own school, you, they will prepare you for that. Um, and so it's not, it's not about, so you are teaching and this is the only thing that you're going to do. Oh no. Like if you want to do more, if you want to, you know, do training on the weekends, if you want to go ahead and, you know, be a coach uh, for like basketball or volleyball, you can go ahead and do that. And so it's so for the benefit of the students and of course believing and knowing like from the bottom of your heart that every single student will get the benefit of a great education and having the opportunity to develop in different areas. So that's what I love about KIPP. Let's about your, the dual language program. So the way it works is that the kids receive a 50-50 day. That means that 50 is in Spanish and 50 is in English. And so in that way, we're battling their background. Most of the, the students that we have come from a like, Hispanic uh, population, and if they don't, we um, uh, teach them how to love the bilingualism and the culture and accepting others' languages and their visions and ideas. Mm -hmm. So the dual language pretty much prepares them for a for a, like a wider future, like a, more opportunities for them. You know, like right now, like knowing only one language would not be as good as in the future to have two languages. Sure. So the dual language right now will go all the way to uh, fifth grade, like fourth grade. Um, we hope and we have the vision. I I have myself. I have the vision that we will be able to keep having that dual like bilingualism mm -hmm. later on middle school high school that's something that i envision yeah <laughs> yeah um i think one of the reasons why i love kip and i know that it's such a different program it is because we don't only teach curriculum we don't only teach academics we also teach social skills and we teach that you need to have grit you need to have self-control and those things later on we'll get them further because we live in a society that the more socially aware you are it will lead you to a brighter future definitely um so it's also be like be extremely intelligent because we know that every single kid can learn and so foster those abilities and also teach them that you also have to be nice yeah. and you also have to like develop those um social skills that that everyone has so the culture of the school as a whole, um, I believe that everyone shows zest every day. Um, we a lot of gratitude. The reason why I say zest is because every morning you, at least the kids, you you can tell when you come in the room that they're like, hey, how are you? Nice to see you. And like, buenos dias, como estas? And so the kids feel comfortable. They are excited that they're here. Like they really love seeing their teachers. Like, and not because I am one, but I see with other teachers, sometimes it's really hard for them to like stay sitting down because they just want to go run and hug you. Um, so you see that comfortable environment. You can tell that the students are comfortable, that they're being treated equally, and that they know that it's a safe environment. So um, you see a lot of grit from most of the students, especially in the dual language. Um, I feel that you could see students who are trying to pronounce new words in Spanish, and it sounds so cute uh, because you can tell that they, since like being little, mm -hmm. they know that they can and that they're learning and they feel safe 
to actually show that grit and that sound. So, yeah. So right now what we're working on, we, last year, most of our, of our students were above level, on or above level. Mm -hmm. um, and so right now we are just trying to trigger that ability. In second grade, most of our students, some of our students are reading at a third, fourth grade level. Mm -hmm. um, so what we started to realize is we know that we want a bilingual school. We know that we want a dual language. You want to prepare our students in, in both languages. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do in second grade is that we are implementing guided reading, which is teaching how to read in both languages. So every single one of our students, regardless of their first language, is receiving um, reading in their second language. So we're not only triggering and fostering, of course, um, their first language um, reading skills, but we're also starting to nurture their second language. So let's say that a lot of students were already, so we have reading in during the whole day. We read uh, PowerPoints, we read in the classroom, and so you see the students whose Spanish is their second language, you see them reading with the teacher. But by themselves, we want that. We want that independent reading and for them to comprehend everything. So right now, we're working on that. We're working on reading in both languages, and of course, we um, expect that students are gonna be reading on second grade level on the end of the year in their second language and they will be on or above level um, in their first language. That's our goal and we met it last year in their first language and we will meet it in both languages for this year. Um, I'm positive of that. <laughs> That's fantastic. Mm -hmm.